These are the brand new Pitaka Airpel shells for AirPods Max. Try saying that five times fast. I know I couldn't. Designed to offer protection for the aluminum cans on your premium Apple headphones and make it look good while doing so. Running $79, they are made of a strong and lightweight 1500D aramid fiber, similar to Kevlar or actual carbon fiber, and come in one of three colors. Red slash orange, which come in a unique herringbone pattern, as well as black and gray and black and blue in a different twill pattern. They weigh 12 grams each and have an inner microfiber lining as well to prevent scratching on the inside. What's up people, Lance Samosa here, the guy with the one tech mind. I hope you are killing it out there. And for full disclosure, I want you to know, I reached out to Pitaka and asked if I could give the Airpel shells the old one tech mind treatment, and they were super kind to oblige. So many thanks to them for sending these out. You should also know that no money exchange hands and they do not have any creative control or input on this video. So you're gonna hear my genuine thoughts and opinions. They also sent me some other really cool stuff for iPad I'm super excited to check out, so make sure you subscribe or ring the bell so you don't miss out on the next videos. So one thing you should know about me is I'm the kind of person who likes to use his electronics on natural, baby, and feel the cold aluminum on my skin as the designers intended. But I have been intrigued by protective covers like these since I've accidentally knocked my AirPods Max on an occasional wall when coming around the corner too hot or when leaning down to pick something up and hitting them on a table. By the way, let me know down in the comments below if that's ever happened to you with your AirPods. However, none of the options I've seen in my cursory trips to Amazon ever really grabbed my attention, many of them being made of silicone, which I just kind of really despise. So when I saw these pop up on my Twitter feed the other week, I was instantly pulled in, even though I'm also not a huge fan of the carbon fiber look in general. But I think the difference here is the super stylish herringbone pattern found only on the red slash orange colorway. The red is a deep tomato color and the other lines look sort of grayish and low light, which I have no complaints about. Outside in the sun, they do look more vibrant as a whole, but they are definitely more red than orange, I would say. And I'm sure they'd pair nicely with silver or pink AirPods Max too. Which is to say, I think they look awesome on my admittedly basic colored space gray AirPods, adding a nice pop of color with a matte finish that's smoother and softer than a baby's bottom. This means they shouldn't really pick up any visible fingerprints either, which is a huge plus and branding is located on the inside etched into the microfiber. A super classy touch on Pitaka's part, I might add. I mean, not even Apple stuck their logo on the outside of AirPods Max. So I'm happy Pitaka followed suit and stayed true to the super clean design. The outer 1500D aramid fiber is a man-made polymer and its sturdy and lightweight nature make it a great choice to protect AirPods Max from scratches. And I would estimate dings and dents from probably medium-ish heights, like if you were to accidentally knock them off your nightstand or your desk. Just know the shells don't offer 100% outer protection since they do have cutouts for the noise control button, digital crown, microphones, and the like, but you'd probably have to drop your AirPods at just the right angle to still ding them up in the exposed areas. If you're interested in learning more about the fiber itself, Pitaka has a fantastic article describing all the benefits, so I will drop a link for you in the description down below. The shells pop onto the cans easily with very minimal force in a way that doesn't make you feel like you're gonna scratch the aluminum just from putting them on. And once they are on, they seem perfectly snug and not overly tight at all. Those cutouts provide plenty of room for all the controls and the lightning port so you can use and charge your iPods without any fuss. And taking them off is pretty straightforward. Simply grab the far edge and pull outward and upward with just a little bit of force. Now the shells add a combined 24 grams to the already beefy 386 gram AirPods, making for a total of 410 grams, which I feel like I am able to ever so slightly notice while wearing them on the head but not enough to make the headphones any more tiresome while wearing them for longer periods of time. And if you're still using the awful case Apple provided, first of all, you may be the only one. And second, you can rest assured the AirPods still fit inside it and go into sleep mode with AirPal shells attached, no problem. And as a bonus, when you take them out, the metal won't click together anymore, causing you to have a mini panic attack in the process. As mentioned, the AirPal shells run $79, which is definitely not pocket change, but, I'm willing to bet if you're the kind of person to spend over $500 on headphones, 79 bucks may be a worthwhile investment to protect them. If you missed out on Apple Care Plus, like I did, I don't know how I did that, or just want some additional insurance. But ultimately, what really makes these compelling are the excellent combination of clearly high quality materials, 
form and function, which in my book equates to great design. Could they be less expensive? Sure, of course. $59, for instance, would be a more affordable price, but I could definitely see myself shelling out 80 bucks of my own money for these. And for that reason, I absolutely will recommend AirPal shells if you're in the market for something not made of silicone or plastic. I will be leaving these on my AirPods from now on, so let me know if you have any questions about them and I'll do my best to get you some answers. I'll also drop a link down below if you wanna pick some up for yourself. And remember, stay tuned for that upcoming Pataka video with some really cool iPad stuff. And until next time, thanks for listening to my One Tech Mind.